Um, I thought it'd be really wonderful to interview you um, just from the way I found out that you were also following Robert Wedderburn is when you were in Manchester with my sister having dinner and I said, oh yeah, I've got this project that I'm doing. And you said, that's the project I'm doing. And I remember you had told me you were doing a project years ago. I don't know if years ago, but some time ago. And I didn't know who the name was or anything. You just said it's something that I really want to do and it turned out to be the same thing. Mm. So what was it that uh, inspired you about Robert Wedderburn? Yeah, it's a good question. It seems like such a long time ago and I'm trying to remember what the sort of journey was. Um, I think probably it was that I had read Peter Fryer's book, Staying Power, um, about, I don't know, I had, I've, I've had it for about 15 years mm. and, um, and I've sort of dipped in and out of it um, many times. And I think that was probably where it began because I learned so much about black history pre the Windrush. Mm, and, yeah. and that's what's so brilliant about Peter's book. It's the history of black people in Britain. And I, like you probably, was surprised to even um, know how many um, people of colour um, there were in, in Britain since, you know, the 1500s, probably since the Romans, actually. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And, um, and, and we've since learnt so much more. But um, Robert Wedderburn really stood out for me because, um, unlike a lot of the other characters that I was reading about at that time, he wasn't just an abolitionist. He was also, um, you know, he, he became an important sort of inspiration for the Chartist movement, which then became the Labour movement. And, and that brings us up to, you know, sort of radical political um, agitators and reformers, you know, and, and, and the history of the, the Labour the labor, the labor movement in, in, in our present day, you know. Um, so, so, so it was that journey that really made me sort of become quite obsessed mm. with, with his journey um, as, as, as a as a person and, and, and wanting to find a way to let more people know about him because I didn't know about him and everybody I spoke to about him um, was equally sort of fascinated by his story. So I had, um, and, and that led me to lots of other, um, you know, black um, Brits um, of the time. And, and, um, and then I started to see all these links really, I suppose, between all the other black characters um, um, you know, that, that, that had lived around that time and who had influenced my own life as a, as a black British person. Yeah, and I think that's also um, my family's Windrush era. So the family stories only go back as far as, as, as that period. Yeah. But it's, I just, yeah, like yourself, I was fascinated how entwined mm. Uh, and, and it's the idea that it's not just a black story, it's mm. a British story, yeah, yeah. that this is a part fundamentally, um, it builds the whole personality of our British culture today. Absolutely. I don't think you can have, um, you know, multicultural Britain um, without understanding the, our colonial past and our um, imperialist past and our, um, you know, and, and therefore slavery. You know, yeah. All of these things are part of the British story. Um, and in many ways, they answer why we are here mm. and, and, and not, you know, somewhere else. Yeah. You know? um, and that these people were fighting for freedoms that we take for granted now, free speech, um, human rights. Yeah. Um, and, um, you know, the fact that, you know, uh, the vote, yes, yeah. um, really you know, basic, basic, really basic, basic yeah. things, um, were fought for and died uh, for, and died for mm. um, uh, by, by, by people like Wedderburn, mm. um, and, and really it, it's, it's honoring that history because often as a black Brit, you know, you go through certain 
things like the 80s and the 70s and, and the experiences we had with racism and then you hear about the Rivers of Blood speech in the 60s and, and this story of black Brits and and a lot of the problems that we, uh, you know, of institutional racism or any sort of um, black British experience um, is sort of very politicised. Mm, yeah. But to learn that the people who you know were those the people like Wedderburn were fighting those same battles Mm. in 1780 of course with a slightly different um context yeah but the same battles were being fought and probably our children will be fighting the same battles um you know and it's just part of the black British experience and and when you sort of see the breadth of of that history and the influence that they've had yeah. on the policies and the changes that we experience and the benefits yeah. that we've experienced. And that the fight, although like Robert Wedderburn didn't get a revolution, mm. uh, unlike the French did and the Americans yeah. did, yeah. Um, the his ideology, well, it, it did come into fruition. It, 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 it manifested itself in, in our lives today. Absolutely. And, you know, and, and I think that, like you're saying, like the next generation fighting, when you understand the history, you also understand you may not see it. Yes. It may yeah. not be yours to have. Absolutely. But, but, it, it will but, have... but it's part of a, a continuation, you know. Um, and it's, you know, for me personally, being somebody of um, Ghanaian descent um, and... I know how important, you know, the Pan-Africanist movement was to to the independence of Ghana and and, and many other West African countries of that time, and um, and so you know, knowing that 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 all of those, you know, there was um, a, a meeting house in 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 London called Africa House, mm. which is I think was in Camden, and that was where all the Pan-Africanists met. And there was another one in Shepherd's Bush, oh, okay. which was Marcus Garvey's wife um, set up um, a house there. So it's, you know, the, you start with Wedderburn, but you end up yes. with uh, so many yeah. different people. It's like people a net. Isn't and that a complete network it, yeah. of, of people that span um, the... the uh, the, the 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 Atlantic, you know. So you've got in in America, and 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 in the Caribbean, mm. and in Africa, and in London, yeah. you know. And all of these people have had a huge influence on 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 our history. And I think also as to what I think, as I start to learn more about it, I I start to understand the economics that holds it all together. Yeah, that sometimes it's sometimes it's not about racism. Yes, <laughs> it's yeah. just about business yes uh, yes okay so that means if i use these people over here i make more profit in this way and it just mm. becomes a commodity yeah um and especially when you're in trade with africans yeah. just, there's um it it just brings more light into also today what does it mean with our own economy and what we right. what we sacrifice for profit yes and what that means uh in an overall picture when you look back at history and, yeah. and you could actually visually see because of profit yeah uh, and the death and destruction. And yeah. now it's a lot more hidden. Yeah. Well, you know, we were having a conversation in the car. You know, here we are talking about, um, you know, 19th century um, slavery, uh, 18th century, 17th century slavery. Um, and, you know, we have iPhones. Mm. And, 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 and in what way are we repeating the same story, mm. but just in a completely different yeah. context? We're now the aristocrats with our yes um, yeah um, because when you think of for example you know the abolitionist movement when we were taught in schools about um slavery which was a very short model i, in, I don't know um, if i was ill on that about yeah, those on that, two days well but I, I think it was I, probably only two days so maybe you could have been you know and you might i don't have remember having thing. any education on slavery Absolutely. but it was very short it was you know that you know and and often very um, one-sided mm. in its view and ended, you know, with... And then William Wilberforce freed all the right. slaves. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, made, you know, campaigned to, to, for, for the abolition of slavery, which happened in 1830 or something yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah. And, um, but what you don't hear 
in or we, we were never taught mm. were all the other people yeah. who 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 were part of that yeah. the fight women, and the women the um, africans the, the, the africans caribbean. the, the caribbeans yeah. the 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 you know the the many different um revolutions that happened yeah. from the working um, class the working to class. the yeah. and then of course what you hear here is later is that um the british government um uh, compensated the slave owners for mm, the loss yeah, yeah, of yeah, their yeah, property yeah, yeah. and that we were still paying that money as taxpayers up until 2014. Yeah. When and I so, found out about that, I yeah, felt nauseous. Yeah, right, right. I've that been we, paying. the descendants yes. of slavery, had... I carry a slave name. Yes. And I've been paying my, my right, tax money. Right. Which is... For the, Amounts to billions. Yeah, you know, seventeen in today's, billion is yeah, meant to yeah, be seventeen to, 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 billion in, to, in today's money. We were still um, paying that debt, um, and you know the huge inequality that has existed in the world because of that period of mm. history is we we are still feeling the effects of that yeah. as 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 Black British people yeah. today, and uh, and 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 that. That that really does sort of um, get you get you thinking about how do we teach in school? Um, how do we teach our children? You know what has come because without that knowledge, yeah, you yeah. can't really. Um, you don't. Yeah. You're fighting a new fight yes, as absolutely. opposed to absolutely. being part of yeah. something. That like you said, that everything's is, connected. It's yeah. like that connection's been severed off from yes. how history's been knowledge. written. It's very clever. Yeah. Sever off the past, that uh, yeah. the, the battles are new. Yes. They're not new. They're, they're not new at Someone's all. passed on the, um, the baton. baton. Absolutely. And it's yeah. uh, and the battles are different, of course. Our freedoms yeah. are a lot more um, accessible yeah. than they ever have been. Yeah. And I think that's also a thing of op op optimism as well. Yeah. The the, the battles are different. The um... they are different, but I think that somebody once said to me that w the difference between say. Um, the racism that happened in America, you know, the, the the legacy of American slavery and American racism was the civil rights movement, mm. which was a revolution and that yeah, made yeah. a huge change yeah. in America that they're still trying to fight yeah, now. Yeah. You know, we've got we've had George Floyd recently and, yeah. and, and, and the killings um, that have happened there, you know, um, that have become very public. And that's part of the public discourse. But we understand, we know that there was a period in history where... Um, Black people in America fought for their freedom. Yes, yeah. and similarly with the apartheid um, in in South Africa, yeah. you have a similar sort of revolution, you yeah. know, which culminated with the ANC becoming, you know, the ruling party and a truth and reconciliation, which enabled everybody to sort of come together but understand the past. Yes, in yeah. Britain the legacy of slavery and imperialism and colonialism has been wealth and power. Mm. There hasn't been a reckoning yeah. of that history. And so our experience as black British people is still s somewhat undercover. Mm. You know, it's, it's still somewhat we're fighting against, you know, up until very recently that, you know, people were still denying that there was such a thing as institutional racism. Well, it's still not, uh, it's still discussed as it's a load of nonsense. Right, exactly. So that, that argument is still out there. Yes, as, uh, exactly. Um, but we are we are we are part of um, a, a, a history and part of the decisions that were made then, and yes, it, it is to do with um, uh, you know um, money. Yeah. But, but but the human effects. I mean, racism. You know, was I would suggest that it was born in Britain actually. You know, because it it enabled the justification of the uh, transatlantic slave trade which was yeah was which 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 the britain was at the forefront of yeah well definitely the racism that we experience today um uh how it's been uh, yeah like you said institutionalized and uh, i suppose the almost like the um industrial kind of power behind it um is what we we feel a lot today mm. i was interested in what you said about education though cuz um i think uh, similar to you, uh, stay in power mm. um, was dabbed in and out and discussed yeah. vaguely through my um, my my family kind of conversations, 
but that is the history that I have. Mm. It was it was personal to our family and the research for our family. I don't remember it coming from the um, school. School, but I was very excited when my boy came home to tell me about Walter Tull. Right. And he goes, oh yeah, this is a football player. Yeah. And um, and he went to war. I said, you talking about Walter Tull? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, uh, something, yeah, something yeah, like that. I was like, war, yeah. I was like overwhelmed. Yes. By this knowledge. That he was being informed right. about... Um, Something that you hadn't... Yeah. Which relates back to his family. Yeah. He, he won't even have these connections. Yeah. But I was, there was a real sense of relief yeah. that it's happening. Yes. That, um, yeah. We are starting to untangle the, the Uncover history. Uncover the lost stories. Yeah. The, lost, the, the lost history. And, and, and I, I'm under no illusion that you know, I mean, even when they make a film about Wilberforce now, mm. um, you know, or, or Peterloo, you mm. know, the Peterloo massacre, you know, and, and, you know, or any sort of representation of people of colour in Britain, you know, pre-Windrush, there, there, there's, there's, there's a sort of deliberate sort of omission, mm. if you like. And, you know, we used to call it whitewashing and now sort of people are a bit smart to that. Um, and so, so you know, they try and make sort of concessions when mm. they're sort of telling the story of our of our past. Um, but it, I feel it, it, it's it's a, it's upon us in a way yeah. with the sort of understanding and 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 the information that we now have yeah. available to we us. We have the access um, to tell those stories yeah. and 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 to to and to and to make them known and part of the general. Yeah. Um, understanding yeah, and, yeah. and 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 actually, you know, to you know, enforce us to sort of, you know, when these things become common knowledge, you know, and that that the, they're taught in schools because if you're looking at British history, you can't just select the parts that are favourable to a continued sort of imperialist point of view that that Britain was, you know, the good guy and everybody else was. Was 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 the bad guy, you know. I I I liken you know the 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 history of the British Empire to to what happened in Germany. You mm. know, it, the, 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 there is no the, there's no difference, you know. And that was a complicated situation, as is the British um, government's um, history a complicated situation. And it's also a part. It's a great story. And it's a part of human uh, evolution. Yeah, absolutely. We, that's what we do. We yeah. create empires. Yeah. Uh, the Ottoman Empire. Yeah. The, uh, I, 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 my ignorance is going to be here, but there was a Chinese empire. That yes, was, of course. So you've got all these huge empires that over uh, Roman Empire, the yeah. Egyptian. It's like, yeah. it's part of our, and we slaughter and we murder and yeah. we enslave. Yeah. And it's kind of what we have done. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, but in that, there are moments of passing on um you know cultural um benefits and and, and also taking the hit mm. for those cultural benefits so you know the romans built roads yes yes, you know, yes, yes. um the the brits spread you know their their and, culture and, and philosophy technology and, and some of yeah. that is has been uh, has, has, has been a, a benefit to the world so i think with information, it's very difficult to to just cast a simplistic view mm. of history, because you see that we are part of a human story, yeah. um, and and that's always going to have you know um, highs and lows and good and bad and rights and wrongs, you know, from whatever perspective that you're looking at it. But 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 it's it, re it removes blame, mm. you know. I mean, even the 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 um, the reimbursement or or, or, or or um the the money that was given to the, the 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 slave owners for the loss of chattel when you look at the bigger picture of that you can understand why they did that they did that because slavery was the thing that was propping up the economy yeah. and if they hadn't yeah. done that it's like looking after the banks it's looking after the banks it's exactly yeah. the same thing and so you can understand why they did it it's just why it was not shared, why it was not common knowledge, yeah, yeah. why it was not taught in why schools. Why did I not know that I was paying for the tax? Exactly, exactly. It's, yeah. And it's, it's, it's that level of obfuscation which, which is, 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 the, is, the, is the part that I think we need to change and take responsibility yeah, for. Yeah, yeah, absolutely.
And I think that's what, just even having this conversation now, um, there may be somewhere that clicks on and goes, oh, I'm going to look into that. Yes. That's all, all it needs to be, really, is yeah. just sh sharing that information. Sharing that and information just information and, 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 and so we know who we are. Yeah, you know? and yeah. It's, uh, it's very difficult for them for somebody to tell you to go back home, you know, yes, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah. even if that's, you know, if that, yeah. if that is the benefit of, yeah. of, 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 of knowledge and yeah, history yeah. is that you understand. The, and the, and the also story. takes the trigger away. I think when somebody insults you, they're looking for a trigger to mm. get a reaction. Yeah. And educations can sometimes take that trigger away yes. because by that information, you see that they're, that is, they're un, uninformed yeah. and you're ready Take so, a bit, to, so the trigger doesn't work. So there's absolutely. there's good kind of psychological defences in course. having education. Yeah, yeah. And what I also find out interesting with Robert Wedderburn's story is um, going into a little bit into the Jamaican history. Yeah. Um, that um, I'm looking into the uh, Maroons. Yeah. Now, and I, it's very I can't get at the moment. My research hasn't got good knowledge on this, but. I understand a lot of them came from Guyana. Ghana. Yeah, Ghana, yeah. Mm. And the leader was uh, Queen Nanny. Nanny of the Maroons, yeah. yeah. And Kojo of the Maroons. Yeah. And Kojo means that he was born on a Thursday, I think. Right, okay. So, and it's very interesting to, um, to feel that kind of, that connection yeah. between... Ghana uh, and Jamaica. Yeah, and Jamaica. And then going to Sierra Leone after going yeah. back, and that, and that again, it's this, this, and going through Britain, yeah. uh, it's As that part that, in within that, yeah, it's like holding like all those land masses yeah. are so connected, yeah, um, and the and the history and the blood spill yeah. over that that yeah. period, yeah, um, is something we should know about, yeah, absolutely, because it's it's not just our story, it's yeah. everyone's story, yeah, 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 you know, because we are all connected to that story uh, there was something you were saying earlier as well about um i think we were talking with um, martin hoyles who wrote this book yes yeah and yeah. um you know and you know it's this thing of ownership i suppose that you know you were talking about dna and the story of you know people migrating out of africa to populate the rest of the world mm. And the idea that those people, some of those people, actually went back. Yes, yeah, yeah. To 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 Africa, um, and and um, and so this idea that we are, um, that, that that we are all nomads, the human race, mm. and we are we are nomads. We are we we are migrants. We are all migrants. Yes, yes, yeah. And and so, in terms of you know where we're from, mm. or you know. Of course, DNA tests can say you can come from this particular place or it's somewhere within yeah, this yeah. sort of, you know, I don't know. Still young science, yeah, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, but sort of, you know, a 50 mile radius or something. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. It narrows it down a little. Yeah. But where those people came from is, 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 is difficult to know in mm. terms of when you think of the whole span of yeah, human yeah. history. You know, we've gone back and forth all the time. Yeah. Um, you know, so, you know, my ancestors if you like could be you know could be the same people who enslaved or could be the enslaved yeah, you know yeah. so when you think of history in that term we are all the ancestors yeah, of humanity we are you know, the human and, and the whole the story human is our yeah. is everybody's yeah. you know and so i think that's even more reason to to share the history of um you know of, of, of the world mm. and, and have that taught in schools and, yeah. and, and have people sort of respect the the, the nature of, mm. of, of um, human evolution yeah. uh, and, and I think that a good place to start is with with an uncovered story someone yeah. like Wedderburn's really interesting because of you know he's part Scottish and he's part Jamaican yeah. and what does that mean yeah, you know, yeah, the, yeah. You know, the, you know his, his family he, on his father's side span back to the Wedderburns who were kicked out of Scotland for being Catholics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, and, and, and then sort of ended up sort of a, a lot of Scots in, in, which is why there were so many Scottish surnames in, in, in Jamaica, mm. you know. Because um, they, they, they were not doing well themselves, so they're, right, off you go and you go and look right, after plantations. exactly. Um, and, and, you know, own plantations, mm. you know, they, they, they were migrants, yeah. you know, and they were looking they for They got their wealth, life. yeah, from... Exactly. They saw and, economic advantage of using human right. collateral 
or two. Right, um, exactly. And those were the, 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 the that was the, 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 the business of the time. Mm. Um, and, and, and now we are still doing that. We mm. are still migrating to a, a different place. You know, I've become very, you know, if you like, wealthy as, as, a, as an actor. Mm. You know, I am part, I, I, and, and my life in many ways, living in Britain, um, you know, which is, you know, has all sorts of things to answer for. Mm. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm part of the, you know, oppression of other people elsewhere. Yeah. And, 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 and so it, it just takes away the blame. Nobody's to blame yeah. here. There is, everybody is part yeah. of that story. It's just Where do we want to go? Question. Where do we want to go? Yeah, we've, that, we that is us. That is our that past. That is us and that is our past. Well, who that do, is our present. What, how do you want to, how do you want to construct our future? How do we make how do we make the world um, better and safer and, and and what are we prepared to do? Yeah. Like, what are we prepared to sacrifice? Yeah. And you know stories like Wed Wedderburn's story are, help are us, examples. Help us on the journey. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, thank you very much, Danny, for this interview. Pleasure. It's an absolute pleasure. pleasure, and hope to talk to you in the near future. Yes, indeed. Yeah. <laughs>